Hello again, my friends. Today I am talking more about family, but more towards uh, what I was talking about before. So let's just get into it real quick. Okay, so I said before about how it's very important if you want to change the world to deal with children, you know, appropriately and everything, um, to help parents as they're going through their thing. And here we have an infographic talking about why 75% of the kids left the church, why 25 stayed, right? And so they're talking about 18 to 29 year olds, why they decide to leave and why some decide to stay. So I wouldn't call that children, but I guess, you know, they're trying to say that these people as kids went through this and why these people, 18 to 29, decided to stay. So the number one thing that's listed here is they ate dinner five of seven nights a week as a family. So family's the number one thing that decides a lot of things for you in life, right? Um, this is why I'm so heavily uh, invested in Christians adopting and things like that because it will make a big difference in not only that person's life, but in the lives of the world. Two, serve with their family in a ministry so that kid was involved in a ministry somewhere and saw how the church helps, right? Number three, had one spiritual experience in the home during the week. Now, I don't really know what they mean by spiritual experience here, but let's just take it from sort of a common sense sort of thing where, okay, so they prayed, they t spoke about the Bible, and they saw how it played out in their life. That makes a big difference to people when they can see how something works. Anytime you're trying to teach somebody, you can tell them all day long, but until they can see it play out, a lot of times they don't really understand it. So there's that one. Number five, had at least one faith-focused adult in their lives other than their parents. And this is why I say parent helpers, aunts and uncles, grandmothers and everything, all of these things are very important to the development of a person. If you as a person can see, hey, this is more than just something my mom and dad do, and this person also cares about me, it makes a big difference, okay? I can still remember a friend that my dad had who, I mean, he wasn't a Christian or anything from what I can tell, but he just took a modicum of interest in us and he made us chocolate chip pancakes, I think, once. And I still remember it. Because it's somebody outside of my family who cared about me and showed that, you know, hey, other people, there are good people out here who just want to do good things. Um, and I always skip this one. Number four, I've, I've recorded this, like, this will be the second time, but I've gone through it and how I'm going to do it like five times. Okay, anyway, number four, <laughs> entrusted with responsibility in ministry at an early age. So this means that the kid had a ministry inside a children's thing or something, right? Or maybe if you homeschool, you entrusted the kid to do a ministry through your home or something, right? So this is providing the homes, the homeless <laughs> with um, some sort of supplies or something. Learning about what homeless people need, um, but that trust and that responsibility is really what grows people up in this, in this situation. Trusting them to be responsible, to do the right thing, makes a huge difference in how someone deals with you. Because if you're always suspicious they're going to do the wrong thing, they, don't, they won't see the point to do the right thing. So if you don't think you can trust them to do a ministry, they won't ever do it later. Okay. So it is important, it's very important that all these things happen. Now again, you know, it's not for, not everybody will. The Bible tells us that not everyone will be saved, not everyone will believe. But for the people who are ready to do that, this is ways that you can help them do that. So, I mean, that's all I want to say. Sorry. I'm having a day today. <laughs> 
So I hope you guys are having a great day. Remember to pray and read your Bible, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Don't be discouraged. Go help somebody. You never know. Even just the sort of basic ways that you can help somebody can make a huge difference in their life. All right. Bye.